what's up guys how's it going uh i thought i'd make a video today basically showing you guys my first ever comedy set uh i did this at a place called rick's bar and grill in Winsocket. uh if you're in the rhode island area go check it out they do uh open mics every wednesday and i thought you know what i'm gonna do some comedy because i've always told myself i'm gonna do some comedy fuck it right so today i show you my first comedy sketch now viewer discretion is advised because i did uh, pull out some edgy stuff that uh, I thought would get a good laugh and uh, it's mostly stories um, from me and uh, just stories that I wanted to tell so basically I just uh, you know I got some laughs for sure and I'm very happy for my first set like oh my god people actually laugh at this shit oh my god I'm, <laughs> I'm doing something great but um uh, I do fumble my words a little bit you'll definitely hear it in, in the thing it's uh but like I said it's my first ever set cut me some slack and uh like i said again viewer discretion is advised this is not for pc people like if you're politically correct or you're gonna trash me on the comment section like just don't even do that dude it's a comedy show so i mean it's it's for laughs it's for jokes god that was a weird thing to happen to my camera there so don't give me any shit just uh enjoy the comedy and i will see you guys in the next video take it easy guys urban Vargas, everyone give it up how's it going guys how's it going Great, great. It's magic every time I come here. Every time I come here, I get really scared. I already saw his shirt. I'm gonna get fucked today. <laughs> I didn't vote for him, but just don't yell at me, all right? I'm with you guys. I'm here. I believe in free speech. I believe in everything. The shit that I'm gonna say. I don't... All right. All right, here we go. Well, I'm a family guy. I love... Not the show. Uh, I'm a family guy. Uh, I love my I love my family very much. I think Spanish people are, are just well known for being family guys. I love fucking with my dad. My dad's at that point where like he still doesn't know English and he's like in his 50s. I'm like, dad, when are you gonna start using that Inglés in Barreras that I got you? He's looking at me like, shut the fuck up, puto. And I'm like, all right, forget it. You know? It's crazy because I, I don't even care anymore at this point because now I just look at him and I'm like, I right, forget it. I'm not even gonna bother you with you anymore. I tried paying for classes for him and he just never went. You know. High school dropout, high school dropout. Good stuff, awesome. Uh, just laughter all the time. Um, I, I love just listening to him speak, especially when he orders food. I love it. Uh, I tell my dad, uh, hey dad, let's go to McDonald's. I'm like, sure, let's go to McDonald's. And I tell him, uh, dad, let me get a chicken nuggets with a, with a milkshake, right? You would think a normal person that has been here for as long as he is would say chicken nuggets and milkshake correctly. This is how he goes, he goes, Excuse me, uh, can I have a chicken nuggets with a milkshake? And I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> are you speaking fucking, what are you doing? <laughs> Speak correctly. And I'm like, I'm speaking correctly, pendejo. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, dad, chicken nuggets. Okay, chicken nuggets. You're just saying it louder. Just, no, forget it. Just drive, drive. Forget it, forget it. <laughs> and he looks at me, he gets mad. Like, I'm like, forget it, forget it, forget it. And he gets mad at me. I'm like, I'm puta. And he holds his puta. like, hold on, puta. <laughs> forget, it. forget it, forget it, forget it. It's crazy when he orders pizza too. You know, a normal pizza, a normal person would order pizza correctly, right? How do you order a pizza? Just say, can I get a large cheese and pepperoni pizza? Easy, simple. This is his, this is his ass all the time. Excuse me, uh, can I have a pizza please? A pepperoni, large? I'm like, what the fuck was that? In order, pendejo, what the fuck you doing? I'm like, what I'm put you want to order for yourself? You're paying for it too. I'm like, I'm broke. Just, all right, order, order yourself. Dale, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are laughing at Spanish jokes because this is not a neighborhood I would think you guys <laughs> That shirt says put him in a cage and also dump him in the wall. You know? It's not built, pendejo, all right? And we didn't pay for it. Mexicans didn't even do it either. I'm Guatemalan, so. Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going, man. I'm paying shit. Not one quixada coming out of my ass, alright? <laughs> anyway. anyway. <laughs> oh shit. I love messing with gringos, it's good. Anyway. Uh I, I've been in a binge lately, uh watching uh, all, uh different types of movies. Cause I like broadening my horizon, you know? You guys just sticking with white, all right. Um, but uh, the Indian films are great, you know? Bollywood is awesome, man. Ooh. Horror movies for them is so simple. To us, it's comedy. To them, holy shit, this is not good. I do not like it. I do not like it. <laughs> to them, a horror movie, and this is fucking true, if you ever just look one up, it's them going to the deli section at a stop and shop. And Jason Voorhees is just the butcher. They see a dead cow, my God! Allah, what the fuck? You killed the cow, what the fuck? I'm like, it's just 
Meat, meat is cow. Carne asada. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm just saying. It's, um, it's, it freaks them out. You know what I mean? It freaks them out. I don't know. It's funny though. I think it's comedy. Oh, my God. I try to stay away from the news. You know, I tell my dad to stop watching TV. It's actually the Spanish news, which already confuses the fuck out of him. It already confused the fuck out of me. I don't get it. I don't even watch the news because I don't even fucking care at this point. He still watches it. This is how he, this is how his morning goes. You know, I wake up at six in the morning, seven in the morning, something like that. And uh, if you're a Spanish person in the household, you go, you listen to this every fucking morning. Despierta America, which is like their Good Morning America on Univision. <laughs> hey, we got amazing guests here. We got Daddy Yankee, Bad Bunny. We got hot chicks in fucking bikinis and all that shit. You thinking your day is gonna be great after watching this? Orale, it's gonna be a great fucking day today. Holy shit, it's gonna be great. And then at night is when everything goes from happy to everything now has to depress everybody in the world, right? Now it goes to tragedy in Guatemala, more floods, dead people, and the fucking gangs, those fucking, they're killing, when every kid is dead. That's so sad, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And then he wakes up in the morning and tells me what he learned from the news. He goes, hey, you gotta watch out, those gangueros are fucking out there. I'm like, dad, that's happening over there, not here. What happened here? What happened here? Don't look at me like that, Ben Don't fucking touch me. You know? The next morning, same fucking shit. Despierta America. We got more hot chicks in bikinis. Corona sponsored, of course. Heineken is sponsored as well. More fucking special guests. And of course, the night goes. Venezuela. Government has been overthrown by its people. The fu Everything's going down to shit. And I'm like, I tell dad, that's not going to happen here. And you fuckers have to prove them wrong. Because I sit them down. And dad, you're gonna watch English news because they're less, they're kind of depressing, but they're not like that, all right? I'm like, okay, I'll give you a try. And what do I get on the news after hearing the Venezuelan government been overthrown? You guys going, tragedy at the state, at the Senate house. Uh, MAGA rioters have now breached the, f I'm like, fuck, the worst time. I see, I told you, they're gonna do it here. They did it, they did it over there, they did it in America. You f I'm like, you the worst time. Worst timing, guys. <laughs> anyway, I got one more story for you guys. I love telling stories. The shit that happens to me in real life. This fucked up story that I like telling, mostly because uh, I like screwing with people. You know, PC culture is here. <laughs> Isn't it great? Isn't it great? PC culture. <laughs> Shut up. Um, can't say shit anymore, but I'm gonna say it here because uh, I love you guys. Yeah. Okay, I'm in my, on my knees, on my knees, okay? I got it. I got it. <laughs> anyway. I, uh, this happened to me a long time, you know? Uh, this is, uh, that happened to me a long time ago. People have their wittiness when they're young, you know? The older you get, the, the less wittiness you get, you know what I mean? You lose your mind, you're like, hey, boy. <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> you know, all those fucking pussy jokes, I'm thinking those Viagra pills must be really working, holy crap. Anyway, uh, you know, winniness is good, and it almost got me killed. Uh, I was in a new apartment, I just moved in, and uh, and I thought everybody was nice in the, in the apartment complex, you know, except one little daughter was right there, was, like some little girl was right there, and I'm thinking, what the fuck is she doing? Playing with dolls, and uh, I see on her skin these pigmentation spots, right? I thought, holy shit, that's mad cow disease. Holy shit, don't even fucking touch her. And uh, I got up to her because I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna think that way. I'm gonna go up to her, I'm gonna see what's up. And uh, two things went to my head. Uh, I was gonna ask her and I said, uh, she was either gonna tell me or she was gonna get mad. The second option came up. <laughs> the second option came up and she's like, excuse me? Because I asked her the question, what are those spots? That's none of your goddamn business. That's just the way God made me. And when, as soon as she said God, I looked at her, I bent down to her level, and I said, honey, God must have ran out of ink making you. Oh. Oh. She didn't like that one. I was like, ah, I got this bitch. She yeah. ran back, her dad went, well, I'm puta, coño, and I fucking ran like the Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Mexican, Guatemalan, just remember that. <laughs> My mom comes home and she fucking is mad. She's like, Eddie, Eddie, and I'm like, all right, yeah, what's up? Uh, and what did you say to her? And I'm like, they're both there. And I'm like, I had to apologize all the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, you got one, thi you got one more thing to say to her? And I'm like, uh, ma'am, are you pregnant? And she was, she said, yes. Um, 
Make sure you shake the toner on this one. Make sure that one doesn't fuck up. You know? Your daughter is the misprint. This is really clean copy. My name is Irvin. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Irvin Vargas, everyone. That was great. Thank you. And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to keep up to date with the uh, stuff that I do when it comes to racing, my comedy, if you guys want me to keep doing this, and just stuff that I'm doing. And uh, if you want to see me live uh, with all my gaming stuff, uh, just go on twitch.tv after midnight, all right, and join the fun, guys. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed it, leave the like. And if you didn't, eh, leave a dislike if you really didn't. Tell me what I did wrong and uh, leave you know your favorite part in the comments hey i'd like to know what uh what bits you enjoyed and uh on the, nonetheless thank you guys so much i appreciate the love take it easy initial d